Hydroelectric power is currently one of the largest sources of renewable energy in the world, contributing 16% to the worldwide electricity supply. As a clean domestic fuel source, approximately 2,000 of the 80,000 dams throughout the U.S. are utilized for hydroelectricity. However, nearly 1,100 cubic kilometers of sediment are accumulated in the world's reservoirs, which consumes nearly a fifth of the global storage capacity. The challenge of managing sedimentation in reservoirs is a huge issue in the hydropower community. However, before we can delve deeper into the issue of reservoir sedimentation, first we need to understand what exactly is a hydroelectric dam. Hydroelectric dams are composed of three main components, a reservoir, turbine, and generator. They work together by utilizing gravity and the reservoir's large drop in elevation to turn a water turbine below, powering a generator, which converts the resulting kinetic energy into electricity. This is where we start to see our problem. The water flow will erode the soil and carry bits of rocks and other sediment that will build up or become trapped within the dam. This buildup and consequential abrasion of turbines and other dam components is known as sedimentation and is the main culprit for causing dam inefficiency. As the sediments accumulate, there is a gradual loss of storage, loss of hydropower revenue, as well as damage to turbines and other hydromechanical parts. Sedimentation can cause storage loss ranging between 0.5 to 1% and company damage of nearly 15 billion US dollars. So how do we address this? One way that scientists are trying to analyze this issue is by collecting sediment data. By observing the amount of buildup, they are able to calculate the trap efficiency, the proportion of a river's total sediment load captured by a dam. However, there are two roadblocks here. Collecting data on sediment discharge is more expensive and challenging than the collection of regular stream flow data. In addition, sediment flow ranges annually and seasonally, affecting the consistency of results and how to approach the problem. However, there is another approach. Modern dams are now being designed so that they can afford to lose storage capacity without impaired performance. This is known as having dead storage, empty space under a dam's outlet. In addition, watershed management reduces the amount of sediment present in the water. This is the practice of afforestation and the promotion of specific farming practices that reduce soil erosion. By utilizing these and many other solutions, we can work towards a desedimentation of hydroelectric dams.